Be brave, be honest, be sincere. Speak your mind and say what you believe in. Now, there's a little bit of advice and a warning before I continue, and that is, in some environments, being honest and telling people what you truly think and believe, obviously, always in a professional and courteous and respectful manner, will not be well received. You're going to come against cultures that are focused on political correctness, on surface level issues, not depth, on symptoms, not root cause problems. And if that is the place where you need to be, you need to do one of two things. One, learn how to play the game while you still have to be there for whatever reason. Two, leave. There is no third solution. Unless you're at the very top, you can start changing the culture and the way things are being done. But I believe that you should always be honest and sincere and brave in that delivery. When there's a massive meeting and nobody says a word because the boss is speaking, they all nod their heads and then the moment meeting is over and everybody goes back to their offices, their departments, half of that room is in vehement disagreement with what was just proposed or stated. But yet nobody said anything. What you want to do is develop reputation, build it over years and decades as someone who speaks their mind, who is honest, truthful, where others can rely upon to get the honest answer. Not what they want to hear at that moment, not what's the path of least resistance, but what this individual, in this case you, believes to be true. When you do that long enough, across the industry, across industries, businesses, companies, you're going to become known as someone who will be invited in the real, serious, long-term, strategic conversations because those who value truth will know that they're going to get it from you every single time, so you'll be part of those conversations. On the other hand, those who are not interested in that, those who don't want to have any conflict or disagreements, those who do not want to rock the boat, don't want you to be part of that. And then again, you don't want to be part of those crews and those cliques anyway. So be mindful of how you deliver your message, but be honest and truthful. Even if you are the only one out of a dozen or, or, or 20 people in that room, if you disagree with something and they say there's an opportunity to say, hey, I think we should do one, two, and three, does anybody else have any thoughts and ideas? And if your um, thoughts and ideas are not only four, five, and six, but 27, 29, and 49, say it. Build your credibility and your reputation as someone who is brave, honest, sincere, and who speaks the truth, no matter what the circumstances may be at that moment or what the environment forces you to do. So think about that as you move forward, especially if you have many more years ahead of you. You want to be known as someone who is leading in speaking the truth, not someone who sits there quietly, doesn't rock the boat, and just executes orders that were given to him or her. Because first, that's no way to live. You're doing something you absolutely disagree with. Two, you want to grow and advance on a real leadership team? One of the ways to do that is by speaking your mind and you demonstrating that you are a leader and you think differently than most. So have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. As always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. Have a wonderful day.